hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and welcome if you're a returning subscriber so as you can tell by the title today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do a basic render in the sims in blender the basic sims for render in blender a blender render um so yeah i'm gonna make a series of these videos because i don't want people to have to sit through a long period of time watching these videos i want each video to help someone for, for something specific so the next video i'll make after this is how to import objects and stuff like that but this is going to be very basic render right so for this you're going to need the sims 4 ripper which is what you're currently looking at you're going to need the sims 4 studio you're going to need blender blender 8.3 which is what i use or you can use blender 8.0 8 i will have them both linked down below and you're also going to need your game <laughs> so i'm going to put an example on the screen right now so basically uh you're going to go in your game you're going to get your sim you're going to adjust them up and you're going to save them um and then you're going to open the sims for ripper like i have right here you're going to click select and click your save game the reason why i know this is my save game is because it is the most recent game um and also i'm just used to it at this point so i've done this a couple of times i'm going to open that up and basically to narrow it down you basically want to just deselect everything your sim is not so my sim is not an adult or an elder or a teen or a child or a toddler or a male or an animal so she's a human female team adult so here you can see this sim is also one of my instagram or instagram sims um, I'll actually leave both of your Instagrams down below so you guys can look at it for inspiration or whatever. I am not the best. I'm still learning, but um, I'm not where I, I was when I first started. So yeah, this is really a stem that I use for Instagram. Well, not use, but I, yeah, use for Instagram. Um, and her name is very easily distinguishable, but all these other stems, like I use her for Instagram, and I use her for Instagram because I know their name. So just pick a name that you can easily distinguish. Something I also want to mention is that this is like my, I know, ninth render or whatever. The reason why I'm saying that is because I want you guys to know how easy this is. It's really not as hard as it may look. It's so easy. Once you start, you may not be able to stop. It's so addicting. It's so fun. So don't be scared by it. It's really exciting. I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be leaving down a Word document that you guys can use as a guide whilst watching this video or when you're first watching this video if you need it for referencing. It's uh, quite easy to understand. I made it for myself, but I know it helps me, you guys, because I have some tips in there stuff like that so on and so forth so i'll leave that down below with all the other stuff i can also make a folder with textures and objects and stuff like that for you guys to get you guys started because it's probably easier if you guys had it um and not having to do it yourself but you learn by doing so whichever you guys want Alrighty, guys we are back so she's loaded this is her outfit i want to point out a few things before i go ahead and explore her so right here um you can actually make your sim pregnant well a pair pregnant so her sim is on flat flat but if I do this, it will be on big, big. Hold on. Be on big, big. Now she looks pregnant, okay? She looks preggers. You know what I mean? So for the effect of roleplay and stuff like that, if you want to make your sim really pregnant, you can. Um, and so on and so forth. But now she's back on flat flat. So you know it works. You can also change the outfit. You can make, you can make her tanned. You can change the outfit. Um, every day too, that's something different. So basically, when you open Sims 4 for the first time, it will be as a single mesh texture. You want to change that to solid and glass meshes and textures. And after you do that, you want to save it as a PNG. Alright guys, now we're in Blender. <laughs> and what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and import your Sim as a Collada, because that's what she is. And I'm going to go to my foot. And I'm going to click on her. And I'm going to import her. <laughs> I need to stop talking like that. I'm going to get rid of this, because we don't want her. We don't want this. What we can do. This is my sim and you're like oh my gosh she's gray what's happening it's fine we're gonna fix it go into shading um i say i'm a lot i'm starting to feel like that it's really nice. she looks kind of like what we exported her to be but she's also not so you click on the sim um i'm gonna i'm gonna explain this but it's also in the word document so you can follow that as well if you want to join color to specular so color from ambient to specular and principal bsdf then shift a you're gonna go to shader mix shader put it in between these two you want to drag BSDF uh, from the first shader to the second shader and drag alpha on base color all the way to black on mixed shader. Then you're going to go shift A once again. You're going to go to shader and click transparent BSDF. Drop down this BSDF to the first shader and bada boom bada bing that's for done. You're going to go down to this little icon right here to comment what I'm saying. And you're going to go here to blend mode and shadow mode under settings and change this to alpha half on both accounts. Now you see she looks like how she's supposed to look. Serving. Serving very much serving. I love her tattoo right here. It's so cute. Um, and now we're going to do the exact same thing to her hair because as you can see her lashes be looking like wings. Spider wings. And we don't want that. Okay. We don't want that. So I'm going to click on uh, 
uh, the sim hair. <laughs> uh, or actually, no. You're just gonna drop down here. See where the second ring. This is the glass texture here. Now uh, that controls the hair and the lashes. So you're gonna actually go down, and you're gonna basically repeat the steps. But instead of going with ambient this time, we're gonna go to specular, and you're gonna join color to specular right here on specular. Then you're gonna go shift A once again, shader, make shader. You're repeating the steps basically. Um, I think I say that in the word document as well. Ooh. So you're gonna yeah, do that. Then alpha to black, and then you're gonna go shift A and go to shader and transparent BS. Yeah, once again, and drag this to the first one. Go to this little icon and make changes to alpha hash and alpha hash. That took all boy all but five seconds, and our sim is looking super cute. He's looking he's giving what she's supposed to give. Period. Period, period, period. Period. Okay. Now I'm not gonna uh so when you go into lay you wanna go back to layout and you wanna click on the middle thing, the point shading, and we're gonna pose our sim now, okay? I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how to make the background, but it's pretty easy. You can just follow what I'm doing here. But anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and click add mesh plane and we're gonna have one behind on the bottom of her and we don't necessarily have to have one behind her but we can so i'm going to go ahead and add smash again or actually i'm just going to duplicate this and put it above her so it's easier to rotate and i'm actually going to pose my zim now at this point before we get into the more fun stuff so to do this you're going to go ahead and find a pose and export it i already have done that but i'm going to show you still because the tutorial Oops. i'm going to show you guys still because it's the tutorial so you're going to go to my project in sims 4 studio and i have a whole folder of poses as you can see here so i'm just going to click click on one of them and once it imports basically just go to clips and find a pose i love this person's her poses or it may be he i'm not going to assume um they make great poses so i'm just going to find a pose that's the pose 25. Wait, I already have it. Let's do. Oh, this is even a bikini one. We need a red pose. No pose. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. And once that's exported, we want to go back here. And I'm just going to draw this out. So, literally, just draw it. And go to this icon right here and click nonlinear animation. You're going to go here and click append. And I'm going to click on neat. That was the name of it. Go to action. And append the action. Then you're going to go ahead and click on your sim. The little dots on her face click on that um to the right your left clicking on that and you're gonna go ahead and click i lock rot scale and then drop this down delete that and click add up here add, add action strip and you're gonna go ahead and add the pose so this is the pose i don't know how i feel about it i think i love it this happens sometimes you may want two poses Ooh, but i kind of like it so i'm gonna click on the rig and i'm actually just gonna rotate her I feel like that's why I like okay so now that we've done that i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fun part so we're gonna go ahead and go back to 3d viewport and at this point it's freestyle baby free toilet so i'm gonna go to this viewport shading tab and it's dark and you're like oh my gosh i'm actually gonna go to the word world um tab and click on color and make it a bit wide okay just try and bright up the it okay um as you can see around her white um and then i'm gonna go ahead and click add light so i'm gonna add light i'm gonna click sun and i'm gonna just drag her up and rotate close it wait here we go and uh Shadow, you want to click contact shadows, okay? So you see her thing there. I'm going to click uh, sh shade smooth on this background and here. Well, and yeah, she's looking extra cute. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to go ahead and click add camera. And once you add the camera, go here to this tab and click top of the camera view so you can see what you're doing. And you can zoom out and you can zoom in. I'm going to zoom out. A little, a little bit and i'm gonna just go ahead behind it and there we go and i click render image just so i know what the, what the image looks like which is like i know what i was going for i 
high key love this. High key, high key, high key, high key, high key love this. So I'm actually gonna click on the sun lighting, and I'm gonna shift this so the light is right behind. So run this one more time just to make sure that I like it, and that is super flipping cute. I I love that a lot. Okay. So now that I'm done with that, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and render engine. We're gonna click on psychic because that's how you're gonna get the cute 10 out of 10 quality. And I'm gonna render this. I'm gonna come back and show you guys the rendered image in Photoshop. See, before I go, I forgot to show you guys. You wanna go ahead and go down here to denoising and do that. Make sure there's no noise. Alright, guys, that's the end of the video. I decided to show you some of my other images that I rendered in Blender as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the part two of how to render objects in Blender. Bye!